the microscopes that we use are worth more than $2,000 a piece, so it's very important to know how to care for and use your microscope. First of all, whenever you take your scope out from underneath the bench, make sure to put two hands, one under the base and one on the arm. And as you set your microscope onto the bench top, don't slide it around. There are little rubber footies on it that really jar the lenses if you do so. Also, you'll notice that if your microscope was stored correctly last time, the cord will be bunched in between the arm and the stage. Never will that cord be wrapped around the arm. So go ahead then and begin by removing your cord and plugging it in. As always, remember to clean both the ocular lenses and the objective lenses. Be sure to use lens paper and clean the 100x oil immersion lens last in case there's any oil left on that lens. Now turn your microscope on. The power switch is on the bottom left and the light intensity can be adjusted on the bottom right. On the newer microscopes, the Olympus CX31, you'll find that the power switch and the knob to adjust the intensity of the light are found on the right hand side of the arm instead of being found on the base of the microscope. Collect a slide from your slide box. Be sure to place it with the frosted side of the slide facing up. Draw a line on the frosted side of the slide. This will be your focus line. Now take a drop of pond water from the bottom of the jar. There should be a lot of really great things to see there. Place the drop of pond water on your slide. We'll be covering the pond water with a cover slip. When you place your cover slip onto the water, do it at an angle so that all of the bubbles that would form will be forced out to one side of the cover slip. Now we're almost ready to look at it. Place it on the stage of your microscope. Notice that your specimen holder has one flexible arm to the left hand side. Use this flexible arm to allow you proper placement of the slide. With your 10x objective in position, use your course adjustment knob to bring the stage up as close to the front of the objective lens as possible. You can move the stage around using your X and Y axis controllers to the right and below the stage. Now look through the ocular lenses and gradually pull towards you your fine focus knob until finally the focus line becomes clear. If you're not seeing a single circle of light, adjust your ocular lenses such that they fit the distance between your eyes.